Hello my dear viewers, welcome to today's reading. Today being April 7th, Friday, April 7th, 2023, and this message is for everyone. Let's have a look at the first and the most important factor we need all to know. Okay, two cards, we need only one for April 7th for the collective. And there it is, okay. And we have acceptance. It's amazing. We had this card two days ago. Accepting a situation, accepting yourself, accepting the circumstances. Acceptance is about letting go of ego, letting go of um, any kind of resentment, letting go of anything that you're withholding within you. Accepting a certain situation that has become out of your control. Acceptance is also seeing yourself through others, through others' eyes and your guiding angels are watching over you in order to help you through anything that you are going through now and you need to accept. It is inspirational when you put your efforts and your beliefs and your thoughts and everything into the highest um, realm, which is your guiding angels. They will help you overcome anything that is hard to accept. And usually it is, uh, usually it's always something that is out of someone's control. Okay, but remember, everything happens for a reason. Let's see what the Sacred Forest has to tell us. April 7th, the message for everybody. The message is transformations. A lot of changes are happening, but they are happening to transcend you to better levels. They're absolutely beautiful transformations because um, they're going to uplift you and take you to a better place from where you are now. So whatever is happening now, um, you are going to be put in a better position. Let's see what else for April 7th for the collective. Oops, that's the first one and that's the second one. Okay, so we have gold and we have the golden swords. The gold is obvious. It is all about sold finances, abundance, money, um, investing. It's about banking, a lot of money. We're having a lot of money, long-term money. And it's also about work, satisfaction in work, satisfaction in your position, long-term position, security, and everything that that goes with uh, a lot of um, financial comfort. The swords are, however, about money conflict. There could be um, somebody cutting corners. There could be some issues that you will have a breakthrough. The sword is always about the truth, and it brings the truth out. So it could be about also careers that have to do with law, order. Um, but also it is, uh, you know, some of you could be losing a situation where it's no, good, it's no longer good for you. You might be moving to a better job or better position. So with the gold, uh, it does help that situation improve and become better. As you can see, as I've shuffled your cards uh, in the intention of today, there is a rise in your money. So that is wonderful. But let's have a look. What are the most important factors for everybody to know? Four important factors for April 7th onwards for the collective. Let's have a look. First and foremost, there it is. The beginning of prosperity. A new beginning that is going to bring you prosperity and abundance. A new beginning, a new change that's coming that's going to bring you something spectacular. The Ace of uh, Pentacles is about a project or a new way of doing things, a new project, a new idea that you're putting into action and it's going to boom, skyrocket and give you abundance. So the beginning of prosperity. The second one, wow, the Nine of Cups, having all your wishes and dreams, or not all of them, but partially some of your wishes and dreams being granted and you're not needing for anything so emotional fulfillment to a very high level where you are getting your dreams fulfilled beautiful now we have the eight of souls it shows that you have been feeling entrapped um, in a situation and not quite happy at the mercy of circumstances and the, at the mercy of the rules of others you are going to be released from this and those of you who have been sort of going through uh, some sort of uh, addiction or you know something that's been uh, code you've been codependent on something you are going to get released also okay and here it is codependency um you know, something being done too much, excessive. You are going to heal from this. You are transcending the situation. So um, you need to know that. I will clarify the cards to know what's going on further. What you don't see coming in, there is something that is falling apart. We have the Two of Swords, which shows the, the, the Two Swords, the Golden Swords, are about conflict and things coming to an abrupt 
sort of uh, collapse. Why? Because there's no more foundation. There's nothing to grow, you know, and, and you are destined for growth. A sacrifice is needed and um, a sacrifice is going to reward you big time. But uh, the sacrifice is where you put your interests aside and think about someone else or do something for the sake of someone else or even sometimes forgiveness for the sake of someone else. Okay, so we've got this what you don't see coming. Um, now what I'm going to do is before clarifying, is there anything else? Yes, I'll just have a look at the Egyptian gods. Just one message, not to to make everything a bit short. And there it is. Did anything else open up? No, thank goodness. So um, it says here that Hermitage. Okay, so many many of you could relate to this. You might be going through a soul searching period, thinking about what to do. Especially we have acceptance and the change. So there are a lot of transformations taking place. You are going to get exactly what you need. That's where you're headed. Even though now you can't see it and you're searching for the truth, the truth is within you, and the truth is going to be um, explained to you that you are going to be uplifted to a very high level. Let's see what your guiding angel's message is for you. Then I'll clarify the cards for everybody. April 7 for the whole collective as soon as I said collective um, they're saying now is not the right time not the right time so for those of you who are thinking of starting something or doing something they're saying just not yet not the right time now for those things that have been in your mind or what you've been thinking uh, there are transformations taking place so you need some time before you take action now talking about action let's talk about the ace of pentacles and see what that is for the whole collective this new beginning what will it bring you okay so you are leaving a situation because you're unhappy and if you were torn between two situations whether you should do this or that there will be news information that will clarify this matter for you and you'll know exactly what you need to do and what i'm seeing that you're doing is leaving a situation behind one that's no not working for you one that is emotionally you're not happy so you are leaving and um, I feel like this was a situation where it might have been in relation to a commitment, in relation to, you know, taking on something really big responsibility and you weren't quite happy. So you are leaving it behind. OK, so in regard to this is about timing, um, this beginning, new beginning comes right after you leave a situation that is no longer working. And as soon as the situation comes, um, I feel like emotionally you'll be very happy and very satisfied with uh, the two of uh, pentacles what you don't see coming is this card which we had before here it is right there what you don't see coming you will have your wishes and dreams established and i feel like there will be a new beginning with someone of fire energy they have fire in them whether it's aries um sagittarius or leo but a new beginning that is going to bring you abundance now let's go to that nine of cup and see what is the nine of cup all about commitment taking on responsibility when we just said that, <laughs> that you shouldn't do that but it shows that um you are going to take on something really big this the, the, the hierophant has a lot of meaning so i'll go slowly uh, the nine of cups uh, the truth about the nine of cups and what it entails for everybody okay all right, so it is to do with a proposition, and there is an air energy here, very strong air energy, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Air energy, someone uh, of air energy, which is, okay, so it's to do with destiny. And there's, the, okay, so it's all that. It's all connected. So now what I'm going to do is talk about this in general. Uh, now, it shows to me that you've really got to pay attention to what you need to do first and foremost the money is coming with the two of pentacles usually there is money and there is money destined for you with the gold here in your reading and not to mention the ace of uh, pentacles which is the ace of coins it's all about the beginning of money the beginning of abundance the beginning of prosperity so you've got to be very careful in decision making when you are working with money how to be very careful what to do how to analyze situations focus pay attention so you don't make any mistakes so there won't be any losses the other fact about the hierophant you've got to pay attention to details you've got to pay attention to the rules and regulations there may be things hidden from you but in order for you to make a commitment or take on responsibility you've got to really search and find all the right um, decisions it's about expansion the hierophant is about changes that are taking place in your life to uplift you to the next level so the hierophant also is about um, transmutating you to a, a higher level that means you will be sort of um in a way upgraded <laughs> how can i say that doesn't sound too good upgraded 
your mind is going to be a bit more, you'll be using a lot of your wisdom and your higher self will be, uh, like your intuition is going to be speaking out to you and you'll start becoming more wise. This is like your high height in your vibration. So your vibrations are going to get higher. You're going to be amazed at how much you're knowing about something, maybe, you know, uh, and, and taking action. You're joining something. You could be joining a new a new way of life. You could be joining, um, you know, a new way of, uh, you know, transforming yourself, your body to a better position. You might be doing Tai Chi. You might be taking on, you know, swimming. You might be taking on, um, you know, a, a spiritual church or something, a spiritual temple, joining something uh, of that high level that will uplift you. Whatever you're doing, and some of you could be committing and getting married, you know, um, this is also about commitment and getting married. It's about also um, doing the right thing. So a lot of changes are going to bring on um, um, a lot of amazing and destiny. Okay, destiny has a role playing in this in this factor. Now there is going to be a proposal. This proposal could be coming from someone of air energy who could have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in them. This person, um, or could be in regard to this person where you were. You are thinking of making a commitment, possibly. I do see that destiny is coming and that's going to help you big time because the Wheel of Fortune is about extreme luck and it is going to impact you and help you in many areas of your life. There is a proposal. See, with a proposal and we have the Hierophant, this could be, uh, this could be it. This could be the, you know, the proposal, the the one that you say I do to. This is like really it could be something magnificent. This is the wheel of destiny controlling the events in your life. That's why they're saying acceptance and transformations where you are going to be out of control. Control is taken over by destiny to move you to the next level. Preparing you for this uh, new arrangement, a proposal, a commitment and destiny of luck is on your side and it's going to take you to higher levels now how i know it's going to take you to better levels and higher levels i'll tell you why number one not only we've got the two aces of pentacles which shows the beginning of prosperity prosperity can be in money and otherwise in relationships and then we've got the nine of cups it shows it's, it showed itself again so it shows to me that there is something magnificent starting your wishes and dreams are going to be met and materialize right in front of your eyes you will be not needing anything emotionally you'll be quite happy and when it comes to money then you have no problems with that either why because you got the gold which is all about abundance heaps of abundance um the beginning of abundance also the beginning of prosperity and wishes and dreams being established so you can't need for more Everything is happening and it's starting very soon with the Ace of Pentacles bringing on a lot of happiness. But the most important factor here is also to know that the Wheel of Fortune plays the biggest role in your luck, extreme luck. This is when I say have a look at your money reading. There's lucky a lot of numbers in the community section of this channel. But this shows to me that luck is going to be playing a big role in your life. And I feel like now is the time for you to understand money, how to deal with it, how to invest it, what to do with it, so that there won't be any losses. So why I say that is because of the Eight of Pentacles, so that there won't be any mistakes, paying attention big time because your wishes and dreams per perhaps uh, even in money not only in love matters and emotional matters because we've got the nine of cups which is emotional happiness extreme but it's also to do with wishes and dreams so having the destiny card there having the wheel of fortune the extreme luck plus the gold and the aces of pentacles both together shows to me that there is a new beginning that is going to bring you abundance emotional and material abundance so money and love Wow, that is amazing. Truly, truly amazing. And there's a proposal. On top of all this, there is a proposal. So that is incredible. Now, now that we established all this, let's have a look at the Eight of Swords. Feeling trapped and at the mercy of circumstances, those of us who are in those positions, let's have a look. And guess what the release is? Wealth, riches. Okay, something is falling apart. Your higher self is trying to tell you, prepare you. Uh, sleepless nights are going to be over because your wishes are going to be granted. And there was that. Again, I'm going to take it this time because uh, I'm going to talk about this in a moment. We've got this card again and again. Something crumbling because it, it doesn't have good foundation. Um, the tower is about... 
um, a crisis that could take place in order to remove something you've been relying on and believing in that it, you know, it can prosper and it can grow and it'll be great, but it isn't. It's something that has no foundation. It is something that has no more it can give you. It's some, it's an area of your life that has come to an absolute end. It's a, it's a, it's a chapter of your life that comes to an absolute end and feeling defeated, feeling, um, not having control in your life lack of control that is all coming to an end and thanks to what to wealth wealth and riches is going to release you big money is going to release you this is hidden from you now you're not aware of it some of you some of you your intuition is telling you and you might be listening something hidden you know your um your anxiety your sadness your worry all that is coming to an absolute end it's all happening due to this collapse that you have to go through in order to move forward but what's coming and what's happening is that there is someone new coming in your life someone wonderful fire energy Sagittarius Leo Aries either one but a new beginning that's going to bring you prosperity you have your wishes and dreams again has come up this came up once I didn't take it now it came up again your wishes and dreams being established and having all your wishes and dreams whether it's emotional fulfillment or otherwise with the wealth card this is otherwise this is where the wealth card plays the role here um, the the card of wealth and riches and the card of destiny so emotional fulfillment to the highest level but also um, extreme luck and abundance wealth and riches that's why i always say play the lotto because i always feel like wealth and riches extreme luck could be um, opening the doors to lottery or lotto could be the way to go so that is possible and we've got the gold here so everything looks like there is going to be abundance coming somehow to you with this extreme luck but the most important factor here your wishes and dreams are going to be established so whatever your wishes let's say your wishes are only to have the greatest love ever or to have someone so wonderful that you can build together or do a business together someone that can be helping you you uniting you to do something incredible together or it could be someone that you want to you know travel with and you want to meet someone that is so inspirational whatever your dreams are your wishes and dreams are going to be met because we have this doubled up we have abundance of luck and we have wealth and riches and they're talking about someone new that is going to be there joining you and this someone new could be someone like someone wonderful that might propose to you an idea propose to spend the rest of their life with you that could be all a possibility but there is certainly a proposal one that you can't say no to uh, an amazing one that is going to bring you abundance of happiness and security so you are destined for a new beginning one that's going to uplift you to the highest levels of happiness and emotional fulfillment in every area in your life because we have the wheel of fortune many areas of your life will be thriving and also don't forget even your money life is going to be doing is spectacular not only your emotional life will be great but also your money life with the gold of abundance and the wheel of fortune together so there you go my dear viewers um always remember that when two cards unite or when they double up it's always the universe saying pay attention to this particular point and the nine of cups is fulfilling those areas of your life that you've been waiting for such a long time and 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 just hoping that will happen this is the time where the nine of cups shows your wishes and dreams are going to be fulfilled destiny is going to make sure so things go out of hand and things become spiral in your life and you don't know what's going on remember everything happens for a reason the transformations are going to be uplifting and remember another thing is um that you need to accept what you that which you cannot control you need to accept it so that you can have your wishes your dreams and so that the universe can transcend you to higher levels okay so that's all um explainable now you know what's going on again i'll talk about the wealth and riches the money here big time because we have got the the cards that are all about abundance and wealth and riches and um, don't forget the beginning of prosperity is about wealth and riches also about money coming your way those of you who are waiting or have been waiting for a long time i feel like this could be the time where wealth is coming in your life and well and riches and money lots of money abundance that's what i'm trying to say here we have the beginning of prosperity okay and that's that all explained now we move on forward to so this area where you were feeling imprisoned that's all coming to an end and it looks like to me that wealth abundance is going to 
release you money is going to release you and there could be someone coming into your life this was part of here where you don't see coming um could be someone of fire energy that will help you and uplift you it could be an idea it could be a person but you are certainly um being removed from a very very awkward and hard situation let's have a look at the devil and let's see what the devil is all about for the whole collective and there it is okay money big amounts of money coming to you um there is that area that i was saying you're suffocating and you have too much and there is fire energy that's going to be helpful and uplifting and justice is going to be in your favor there is a fire energy and water energy involved here someone that's going to support you uh, perhaps in regard to this matter or those of you who are fire energy sagittarius leo aries that might be going through the suffocation uh, you are going to be uplifted uh, there is water energy here very strong scorpio cancer pisces that will be very helpful and uplifting and someone very caring considerate that will be supporting you out of this matter justice is going to be in your favor so everything will be fair and just and in your favor anything that has been wrong it will be um all compensated to you and it's going to be in your favor especially regarding the devil there is going to be a big rise in your money you are going to be given the strength to be strong to be able to withstand all obstacles and beat them and conquer them and become a winner um the the rise in your money is imminent destined it looks like money is going to rise dramatically in your life because we have the ten of pentacles we have the ace of the ace of um, pentacles so there's a lot of changes in money big money coming your way so um the ace of pentacles and we have the ten of wealth the ten of coins now the seven shows that a dramatic rise that you have to really think about how to invest and what to do with your money because uh, it is going to be um where a section it, it could it could reach to a level where you might need help like advice what to do so um do look at earth uh, situations like earth things that are concrete in investment that's my opinion you can toss it away of course but um there is gold for you with the um with also the what's it called the uh, wheel of fortune there is gold abundance coming and um, this new beginning is going to bring you abundance also so abundance is coming and there is so much happening here with the gold with the beginning of prosperity with the wheel of fortune everything is looking spectacular and it looks like um, the wait is over for many 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 of us okay now that we've established all this and we know what's going on let's move on to the next level and see what else we need to know important factors for everybody oops and there they are important factors are okay so some of you uh, in regard to codependency uh, i was looking at the devil and seeing that those of you who are addicted or are um, affected by addictions the addiction did come yesterday sobriety those of you who need to who are going who are abstaining from you know addiction and addiction could be anything love could be an addiction you know eating chocolate is an addiction um not only drugs and alcohol and gambling but but everything else uh, like that love itself uh, sexual passion that could be addictive too so those of you who are abstaining or feeling that you're controlled by these matters i feel like um, they could be affecting your your love life so i feel with the destiny here it will remove some of these um painful um dependencies and help you move forward from this not to mention the hierophant gives you the strength and wishes and dreams being being established is kind of is going to come to your aid and rescue you uh plus not only money is coming but love is coming emotional fulfillment and that on its own is going to give you all that you need to be able to heal from these dependencies now some of you could be like i said um addicted to love and could be missing out on love because something is crumbling you're leaving some somebody behind or somebody's leaving you behind remember everything is happening for a new start you are destined for emotional happiness um there could be a lot of differences different factors between you not only they've got religious here but could be other factors that could be influencing uh, you know it could be the way you've been brought up the way your upbringing is your spiritual path could be any kind of factor becoming uh, major differences that's why a situation could be coming to an end and it might be very hard for you to accept that's why the universe is saying acceptance is the key factor for you to be happy to have emotional fulfillment and destiny is going to help you uh, achieve that you are destined for a lot of happiness 
and um, emotional fulfillment. So if things are not going the way you want them to, there is a reason. You are going to be uplifted to a much better place. The transformations are going to be beautiful where you're headed. So um, it's important to know that. And then I've got finally engagement. So that's what the Hierophant was all about. Engagement is about tying the knot. It's about leveling up your commitment. Your love life will be transcending or ascending to higher levels of commitment and moving to the next level. That's why we had the Hierophant. The Hierophant is about commitment, marriage, and upliftment. You know, like, you know, why? That's what I meant upgrade, like leveling up. Um, to the next level and i feel engagement is going to be spectacular um for many of you that you will be proposed to there was that proposal which you couldn't say no to remember the proposal so this explains it all the hierophant the proposal and then we've got engagement so there will be a beautiful engagement or a very strong connection happening for many of you uh, like I said, a proposal you can't say no to. You are destined for this because you've, you've got to have your happiness. And, and everything there, everything here is about the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, Nine of Cups, Happiness, Emotional Fulfillment, and Proposal and Engagement. If you put it all together, we're talking about many people getting engaged and leveling up to the next level in their relationship. So that is magnificent, truly, truly magnificent. Okay, let's have a look at the message for everybody here. Well, and there it is. It says, only time will tell. Only time. Well, with, with your guiding angel's answer was not the right time. So maybe a little bit longer and only in time you will know the truth. Time will tell. Only in time. So it might be a very short time and everything will come out and it will be clear for you. Let's have a look at the Chinese cookies and see what they have for you. Messages for everybody. Oh, and there they are, these two. Okay, so it says personal riches. Small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on their way. Finances could improve dramatically. This is that. Finances improving dramatically. This come twice. Um, avoid rich get rich schemes that's why i said invest and try to get advice and maybe not one advice but twice two advices um, money is coming to you big time opportunities a stranger is about to change your life wow this is about the engagement this is about the proposal where's the proposal someone could be changing your life now this could be in regard to business or marriage somebody could be proposing and that's a change of life completely um, exciting times and plenty of action plus a special family reunion looks likely so that is magnificent truly i hope you enjoyed this reading my dear viewers i wish you abundance of blessings love and light to all of you happy birthdays to all of you happy birthdays to those who had a birthday i, I might have forgotten to mention april 6th and april 7th happy birthdays to all of you happy anniversaries to all of you i wish you abundance of joy and a wonderful day for those of you having birthdays and anniversaries and for everyone else i wish you plenty and abundance of love and light and blessings in everything you do namaste